Today, Shanks Group PLC report their interim results for the period ending September the 30th, 2014. And I'm joined by the Group Chief Executive, Peter Dilnot, to discuss some of the key points. Peter, thank you very much for joining us today. Now, these are disappointing results. What's happened? Well, as we've flagged to the market already, it's been a very challenging six months for Shanks Group. With revenue broadly flat, but profits down significantly, it is just clearly not where we want to be. Most of the issues are concentrated in the Dutch solid waste market where uh, the conditions have continued to deteriorate and we've also had some one-time operational issues in the first half. Now having said that, we've taken decisive action in the first half and are uh, set up with momentum for a better second half performance and growth beyond that. But the issues are not necessarily just about the Netherlands solid waste, are they? No, as I uh, just mentioned, we have had one-time issues um, in our uh, hazardous waste business operationally. Um, and that is because we made a decision to invest in increasing our capacity. And in doing that, we've had to essentially shut down the plant in the first half. Now, that means that we are well set for improved throughput in the second half, but has impacted our first half performance. And I would just make two other important points more broadly. The first is that we have four divisions at Shanks Group and three and a half of those are performing robustly. And secondly, we have continued to invest through this difficult cycle in infrastructure uh, and that sets us up for longer term profitable growth. Now, typically uh, the business is weaker in the second half of the year. Now, how confident are you that this year will be different? Well, we've taken decisive actions in the first half uh, and continue to do so. And I'm confident that those actions will read through to an improved performance in the second half. Most importantly, it's connected with the uh, throughput at hazardous waste, which we've already talked about. But we've also got our improvement initiatives in continuous improvement, in structural cost program and commercial effectiveness, which will read through, plus also additional volumes in both Belgium and Canada. So in aggregate, I'm confident that we will deliver a stronger second half performance and we have the momentum to do that. Now, let's return to these Netherlands solid waste challenges. You've mentioned them quite a lot before. Is it time to exit this business? No, I don't believe it is. Um, firstly, the business is profitable as it is today, and we're building capability that will give us sustainable uh, competitive advantage in, in the years ahead. I think most importantly, though, we have a clear path to generating attractive returns from our shareholders from this business. So now is not the time to be considering exiting the business, but it is a time to focus on what we do best, which is serving our customers well, doing so in, in an increasingly lean um, and efficient way. And I think that'll set us fair for the medium term. And Peter, what gives you the confidence that things will get better? Do you really believe that? Yes, I do. Um, and for two separate reasons. The first is what we are doing uh, as Shanks. And secondly, what is happening in the market. So I'll take each of those in turn. I've already touched on a number of the improvement initiatives, but let me give you some more colour. The first is on uh, commercial effectiveness. We're increasingly clear about where we can deliver great value to our customers and have identified target segments where we are concentrating our commercial activities and focusing our effort there, and that will lead to a more profitable mix. We are ongoing with our structural cost programme, which we have announced, and we're, that continues to deliver savings on an ongoing basis. And continuous improvement will ensure that our productivity is better across the business. So that's what we're doing, and those are the things that we can control. But then we have the market, and the reality is that this is an incredibly difficult market. Our largest single-end market, Dutch construction, is down at 60-year lows, and we're also facing intense competitive pressure, particularly as uh, one of our largest competitors is up for sale at the moment. Now those conditions will not continue forever and um, when they do turn I think we're well placed um, to benefit from that recovery. So it's a combination of what we can do and some early signs of recovery in the Dutch market. And what's the outlook for the other divisions? Well I think this is very promising. Um, we have three growth divisions and throughout this cycle we've been investing in new infrastructure uh, which is typically underpinned by long-term contracts and that will deliver uh, strong earnings growth as those new uh, facilities come online. Let me give you some examples. Firstly, um, in hazardous waste, we've already talked about increased capacity, but we're building a new facility to be closer to our customers at the heart of Rotterdam Harbour, the largest industrial port in Europe. 
In the UK PFI business, um, we have got three large-scale contracts in total, um, over £300 million of capital going into new infrastructure that we will run for the next 25 years. And then we've also got a strong funnel of opportunities to capture a growing market in Canada where we're well-placed. So those divisions, they have an advantage position. We have clear plans to continue to invest in capital, and that will lead to strong, profitable and high earnings growth going forwards. So, Peter, what are your priorities from here? Well, our first priority must be to deliver a stronger second half performance. But in parallel with that, we need to continue to execute our plans to deliver medium term growth, both in the Dutch solid waste business, but in our growth divisions. We're very clear at Shanks Group what we need to do. And our clear focus now is just executing our plans and getting on with it. Peter Delnott, thank you very much.